Welcome to Room 6, and Happy New Year. It's 2020. Hopefully you guys had a great New Year's Eve. I know I did. Today we're reviewing the Michter's Kentucky Bourbon Flight at the Barrymore Bar inside the Royal Resort Hotel, consisting of Michter's Small Batch, Sour Mash, and Rye. For $20, this is an amazing flight. Hard to find, but easy to love, the Barrymore inside the Royal Resort is worth the effort. I made the trip to check out local up-and-coming band Stanley Avenue, who hopefully will be on the uh, Room 6 interview show late, uh, later this year. And they performed uh, you know, favorite tunes every Saturday from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. there. Since this was a cover gig for them, I thought, what the heck, let's review some whiskeys. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share. And uh, yeah, let's go. First, I have to give mad props to the Barrymore for serving whiskey in a glass built for nosing and tasting whiskey. Brought out on a silver platter, I immediately felt special and grateful. Now, faithful viewers will recall, I'm a Highland single malt guy all day long. However, Man does not live on highlands alone, so let's move out of our comfort zone, shall we? Starting with the Michter's small batch, the nose is inviting and sweet. Nothing too abrasive here, and surprisingly missing a lot of the usual whiskey baking spices. I got notes of baked red apples with a little currant or sultana thrown in. I was excited to taste it. My first taste of the small batch was... nice. Just... Nice. A little burn to remind you it's whiskey, a little orange peel and cinnamon to warm you gently through on a cold night. On to the sour mash. Some definite baking spices on the nose here with some candied orange peel too. Again, very inviting and welcoming. On the tongue, the sour mash is a little more astringent than the small batch as you'd expect. A little honey in the middle with the finish reminiscent of a Werther's or butterscotch candy. Finally, the one I've kind of been dreading, the rye. I have some bad history with these, but the Michters surprised me yet again. On the nose, I got mellow notes of baking spices, but not as strong as the sour mash. Some dried fruit I can't identify, and overall, inviting. When tasting, the rye I feared so much was actually very sweet, smooth, and muted. Still, the same basic notes I've come to associate with Michters, yet an extra sweet element of almost vermouth-like throat-covering velvetness. A great finish to a great flight. 